let me ask you, are you wondering about fake booby milk? Hmm. No, no, neither was I. But in this episode, we're exploring what that is all about. Hey, Food Slayers, it's Michelle here from foodslaying.com. It's been a minute since I filmed outside, unless you looked at my last video when I was filming. It was snowing, but it's winter, so it is what it is. But this week, we're talking about a few things. Let me ask you, are you wondering about fake booby milk? Hmm. No, no, neither was I. But in this episode, we're exploring what that is all about, along with farmland and the strategic ownership of farmland and the sun and, you know, lots of other little things. But at the end of the episode, I think the question you'll be asking is, what do all these things have in common? And it's one person. And I'll let you check out the podcast episode on foodslaying.com and check it out this week because these are really interesting connections to our food supply. And, you know, we, we've got to stay informed. If we don't know what's going on, then we can't make good decisions. And there's a lot of things going on, specifically on the global stage with our food systems, with the UN Food System Summit and who the president is, and this person is being funded, um, strategically funded. This same billionaire is also funding um, a lot of global food systems in Africa, is funding global food policy, global food regulations, national policy, national regulations, and is also invested in some of the um, meatless, you know, innovation companies that are coming out, you know, lab grown meat. I did an episode on that a couple of weeks ago. Maybe it was a month ago at this point, but if you haven't checked it out, check it out. It's called Meet Me in the Lab. And it really dives into the meatless, um, technology that's being funded by billionaires right now. And the goal, the stated goal is to eliminate the meat industry in 15 years. So it's 2021, so by 2036, you know, maybe there won't be any more chickens. Maybe there won't be any more cows. Maybe there won't be any more pigs or fish or eggs or milk. And there may not even be an opportunity for women who want to breastfeed their children to breastfeed their children. I don't know. I don't know. You know, none of us know what exactly is going on but I'll tell you one thing this is chess it's not checkers so you know there's a strategic plan to eliminate this industry all in the name of climate change which you know doesn't matter what end of the spectrum of climate change that you're on what matters is that we're asking the right questions that that we understand what these innovative products are doing to our environment what they're doing to our health what they're doing to our relationships with each other and with our animals, you know, on, on this planet. You know, are they really saving us money or are they costing us more? Are they really reducing emissions or are they generating more pollution and waste, you know? And, and I dive into it a little bit. You know, whatever, whatever your thoughts are on that, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. So I hope that you share this video with someone that you care about. And I hope that you listen in to this week's episode. It's called Farmland Gateskeeper. And that's a hint about who is controlling all of these things through economic investment. You know, that is the way. We saw it, you know, we, we're seeing these things in real time. You know, it is quite a time. And I hope that you enjoy these episodes. We are now in season five. This will be the season five premiere. And in this season, you know, we're starting off with fake booby milk. Okay. So that should be an indication of what we're going to get into this season. So it should be fun. Buckle up. Uh, we're also going to be talking to a lot of farmers. You know, it's really important because farmers are the starting point for our food and farmland is the starting point for our entire food supply and all of the food that feeds our animals that we consume 
it's even the starting point for alternative meat sources. So farmland is really important. Farmers are really important. I hope that you're support, supporting a local farmer where you live. And that's all I'm going to say. I hope that you tune into the episode and let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel. Share this video with someone you love. Subscribe to the podcast. Share those episodes with someone that you love. You know, uh, hit me up on the socials. I am not on Instagram anymore, so you won't see any more posts from me there. But you will see me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course here on YouTube. Of course, you can always sign up for the Food Slain podcast newsletter and get exclusive podcast updates because you never know when these tech companies are going to take your videos down or whatever, you know, eliminate you. <laughs> So if you want to stay informed and you want to keep these conversations going, subscribe to the newsletter. I appreciate you listening in. Thanks for being here. Thanks for all your support. Thank you to all my supporters, fans, cheerleaders, listeners like you. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And until the next time, remember to eat clean, eat healthy, love your food, and I'll see you on the other side of the plate. Ciao.